My next big question surrounding the drone industry in 2023 is whether or not an American or Western manufacturer can actually take some serious market share away from DJI. My name is Steven Sam. I'm a drone pilot and educator. Welcome to Steven Drones On. The first really functional commercial quadcopters that had true hover in place stability, the camera quality, the gimbal stability, really the features that have made these tools so revolutionary in so many industries in this very compact period of time. That was all done by DJI. The, the quadcopter revolution, we'll call it, that was all done by DJI. And don't take away anything from them, but there are these concerns and whether or not they're legitimate that there's sort of this back door of data going to the Chinese government, who's obviously, you know, essentially the backers of DJI. It's a, you know, it's a Chinese company and there's connections to the Chinese state. And whether or not those concerns are legitimate, there's a, there's a ban on DJI technology at the level of the United States federal government. And it's still in place. The Biden administration kept the Trump administration's ban in place. And, you know, whoever was making those decisions, whether or not that's a political decision, if that's being done by the, you know, fleeting administration or sort of the security professionals that are lasting administration after administration, they're making a serious determination that we cannot be using these products at a federal level or because they want to sort of have U.S. manufacturers that they're interested in designing these products that are being used by the federal government. I mean, that's another question. But the other thing you have to remember, right? These drones are a combination of hardware and firmware and software. So when these American companies are sort of trying to compete with DJI, they have to kind of make a choice. Are we going to compete with their hardware? Are we going to compete with their firmware? Are we going to compete with their software? Are we going to do all three? So take like an agricultural company, for example, if they're trying to design a sprayer drone or a drone to basically carry a, a multi-spectral camera to do crop analysis, are those companies going to design something better than a Matrice 300? We're going to find out. And I think this is really the year you're going to see some of these competitors that are taking are trying to take different pieces of the market away from DJI if they're going to be able to successfully do that and sort of you know start slicing into DJI and start bleeding it out from multiple places I really don't see an American manufacturer creating like a, a one-stop shop product like a Matrice 300 which is sort of DJI's enterprise drone I think that's going to be very, very difficult. DJ, DJI has just such a leg up, so much more experience, so much more customer feedback designing these products. It's going to be very difficult for a company like Autel or Skydio to create something that's truly competitive with DJI. I think these are questions that are going to play out in the field coming into 2023. Um, I think before, this was really happening in the design stages behind closed doors. These products are being tested and a lot of these are starting to roll out now. The best example of this is really the Skydio drone in a box, which is a direct competitor to DJI's drone in a box. And what I mean by a drone in a box solution is basically a drone that can be programmed by someone who's sort of a project manager or a facility manager to do a repeated task and sit in a box. When it's time to do its task, it flies, you know, the box opens, the drone flies, it does its job, and it returns to the box, lands autonomously, and recharges without a person ever touching it. So that will be a real test, I think, of an American company, Skydio, which is 100% backed by you know, defense player. A lot of the higher ups in the Skydio company are former military people 
people who have connections to the sort of federal government apparatus, we're going to see if they can really, really hold a candle to some of these DJI products. And that's all happening now in 2023. So we're going to find out.